So in this video, we're gonna look at sine, cos, and tan. So they're quite basic, but they can be used to solve really difficult problems if used correctly, okay? So we have to make sure we know them, uh, we have them down, so then we can move on to the harder questions. So you can only use sine, cos, and tan for right angle triangles. A lot of people will make the mistake of trying to use them whenever they see a triangle at all, but it's only for right angle triangles. So there has to be right angle and 90 degree angle in the triangle. Um, so anyway, in a right angle triangle, it's say if we're talking about this angle A, this is always gonna be the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle and because it's the longest one, okay? For this angle A then, the opposite side is whichever one is facing it, so whichever one is opposite it. In this case, it's gonna be this side here. Uh, so this is the opposite, like I've labeled, and the other one is gonna be the adjacent, which means beside, okay? So it's beside the one A, whereas this, this line here is opposite. Okay, so it all makes sense, but if not, I always think hypotenuse opposite and the last one has to be adjacent. So sine A here, is always gonna be the, the length of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse side, okay? So so you can remember, S-O-H, then cos of A is gonna be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, uh, so that's gonna be ka, and then tan of A is opposite over adjacent, so the opposite side over the adjacent side, and then toa. So if you, everyone, if you have difficulty remembering them, then soka toa is the kind of phrase a lot of people use, um, so S-O-H, C-A-H, and then toa. Um, okay, so that's what they are, but now why are they useful? Why, why do we wanna learn them? So I'll just scroll down a little bit. So two reasons. So if we know the angles, okay, so if we know the angle A, that means we can get sides, okay? Then if we know the angle A, but there's one of these that we don't know, then we can find this one that we don't know, okay? And then the second reason then, I'll go in green. If we know sides, da da, we can get angles, okay? So it's the opposite as well. If we know all the sides, then we can find all the angles in the triangle as well. Okay, so that's why it's quite useful. So we're gonna look at two examples here, uh, one to try and get a side and one to try and get an angle. So look at the first one first. Um, okay, so I just drew that little triangle out there. So this is, sorry, a right angle triangle here. We know this angle is 30. We know this side is seven and we want to find the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, so this is X. Okay, so we can use sine, cos, or tan to try and solve this. Let me change the color of the pen. So we have to think, what are we gonna use sine, cos, or tan? So in this case, since we have this angle 30, we have the opposite side to 30, and we have the hypotenuse. So if you look at opposite and hypotenuse, they're in this one here, so that means we're gonna use sine of A, okay? So I'm just gonna write, sine of A is equal to op over hype, so short for opposite and short for hypotenuse. So um, I'll go to blue, just keep changing it. So that means sine of, oh, no, that's not sine. Sine of 30 is gonna equal the opposite, which is seven, over hypotenuse, which is x, okay? And now it's all just about rearranging this so we can find out what x is, okay? So I'm gonna multiply both sides by x. Um, so that means we're gonna have x sine 30 is equal to seven over x multiplied by x and we're gonna find that the, the x on top and x on the bottom cancel. So we're left with x sine 30 is equal to seven, uh, and then I'll just stay in yellow. Then I'm gonna divide both sides by sine 30, so I'm just gonna write that one more time. x sine 30 is equal to seven. Divide this side by sine 30, and divide this side by sine 30. Okay, that cancels with that, and that means just to save space to write it up here, we're left with x is equal to seven divided by sine 30, okay? And you can stick that into your calculator. Your calculator will find out what sine 30 is, and you'll be left with, I'll go blue, x is equal to 14, okay? So that's one example of why sine, cos, and tan are useful. Let me scroll down, and then we'll do another example. Um, I'll go red. Okay, so I just quickly wrote this triangle out as well. So I keep forgetting to write that right angle. So this is a right angle triangle here. See the hypotenuse has length 20 and this side here has length nine. 
and we want to find angle A, okay? So in this case, 9 is adjacent to this side, so this is the hypotenuse, this is the hypotenuse, that's the opposite, this is the adjacent side. <coughs> Excuse me, so we have the adjacent side and we have the hypotenuse. So if we go up to our Sakatoa, we have adjacent and hypotenuse, we're going to have to use cos A, okay? So I'll go back down and I'll go dark blue. So I'm going to say cos of A is equal to adj over hype, so adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means that cos of A in this case is equal to the adjacent side, which is 9, over the hypotenuse, which is 20. Okay, and there's a little trick if we want to find the angle. Uh, and I'll go to yellow for it. So if you have cos A is equal to 9 over 20, so it's only if you're looking for an angle, then you can say A is equal to cos inverse, so cos minus 1, of 9 over 20. So that's going to be a button on your calculator. You're going to have to press shift or second function and then cos, and uh, this button here will come up. Stick that into your calculator, and your calculator will calculate that for you. So A is equal to 63 point, in this case it's a bit of a messy one, 2.56 degrees. Okay, so that's two examples of where sine, cos, and tan can be useful. And hopefully the video helped. It was just a quick recap on sine, cos, and tan, so everything I can see here. And I'll just leave you guys with a tiny little quick question, so I'm just going to draw it in. Which box do I use? I'll go this one here. So sorry about being messy, but if we have the following triangle, I'm going to call this angle B, it's a right angle triangle, 4, 3, and 5, what is B? Okay, so I'll let you guys answer that down in the comments, and um, let us know what you think. Anyway, we'll see you next time for videos on... Uh, it's going to be a harder example with sine, cos, or tan, so more difficult than these simple ones. So we'll see you then. Uh, this should be popping up. A video should be popping up somewhere, so you can click on that if you want to skip to the next one.